much impact could an agile executive have on a team environment? Uh, it would be like night and day. What happens in a lot of organizations where we don't have so agile executives, transparency isn't really what happens. We get actually the opposite, uh, very opaque environments. Uh, I've actually, I actually heard a quote last week where, you know, we don't make, make mistakes around here, you know, this kind of mentality where people are going to hide mistakes and we really want to know what's really going on. And so what you'd see differently in an agile team with a really agile executive is we're talking about reality. We're talking about the real problems there are. It's not like a royal tour. The executive has come and the posters have been put up just in front of the executive. I've seen that happen many a time. I've actually seen it. I put up some funny posters as well that they didn't notice, but uh, I'll leave that for another day. And uh, yeah, they, it's not about royal tour. It's about really talking about the problems that we're having. And some of the issues, a lot of the issues are beyond the controlled influence of the teams. And we can say they're empowered. Uh, but an agile executive really will make them empowered or will fix the problems that are in their way. Because sometimes you might have a very agile executive, but the, the peer of that agile executive doesn't want to talk to uh, lesser important people, if you know what I mean. And uh, so they need to hear from the agile executive. The, the same thing could have been said from the people in the teams, but because this person has an ego, they need to hear from the right person. So sometimes a bit, a bit of air cover, a military metaphor there, a bit of air cover is needed. Uh, from agile executives to help teams to be really inspired and uh, really motivated and to, to really deliver fantastic products and crush the competition. That's the big difference.